Hello and welcome to the new Power BI dashboard tutorial and in this dashboard we are looking at Udemy which is a very popular website for learning uh, for education and learning and with the help of this dashboard we are analyzing the, the courses that Udemy offers so we have a time period of from 2011 to 2017 where we can select let's say for 2017 what is the information it gets updated then we have the four different categories like business finance graphic design musical instruments and web development we can select any of the one and then the chart updated aut automatically and then here are some of the kpis like in 2017 for web development you have total 636000 or in indian or in a, uh, Indian context 6,36,000 students what you have then the number of courses is 223 for web development in 2017 what is the average price is $85 the 22,000 is the reviews lectures and the course content duration in hours then we further look at this information that okay for this particular one so if you see if, even we have selected 2017 but still we are getting all the different years and that functionality I will explain to you once we will go into the dashboard. So for the web development this is how the trend looks like so clearly from 2011 to 2012 uh, there was a slightly uptrend then it got picked up and continuously picking up but if you see from 2016 to 2017 the trend has not been that steep like uh, it has seen from 2014, 15, 16. So this is a very interesting chart which tells you the trend shift and not like a normal line chart which goes up down but this chart is, is a very interesting and slightly technical chart called a cumulative uh, cumulative line chart which helps us look looks at the trend shift. Then we have information for top 10 courses by students. So here are the top 10 courses and where you have the maximum number of students the high level information or segregation of free versus paid courses then we further look into the free versus paid courses by students so students are on the x-axis and reviews are on the y-axis so you can see each course uh, where you have the students and the reviews and accordingly uh, you know analyze this information like what are these two highest one let's say you are someone who wants to create a course right you may want to look at this particular area where uh, the the number of students and the reviews are high and look at okay what they are doing for such high reviews and for such high students so if your objective is mostly on the high students then this is where your area is then this gray icon basically talks about the free courses like learning angular 4 from scratch is the uh, free course where you have 8600 student and the reviews is 522 similarly the students and lectures so these are the number of lectures which has the highest lecture and this you know these students so this is also an interesting chart which basically tells us uh, where the students are on higher side and where the lectures are on higher side so probably if somebody wants to create a course the number of lectures you may want to have is 20 right similar way you can create other charts like the content duration and stuff like that which based on the need can be created then uh, the levels for each level beginner all level intermediate level expert level how many free and paid courses so for expert level clearly there is no paid courses but the highest number of paid courses are at intermediate level then at beginner level for all levels you have the certain just the 13.4 percent free courses so this is a very interesting dashboard uh, that i have shown to you uh, that i have created for you which is for beginners and once we will complete that i will show you a very advanced dashboard that you may want to create uh, to reach your skills to a next level so stay tuned with me and we will create this step by step and then I will show you a completely transformed version for those users who love advanced dashboard and who wants to work on the advanced dashboard. Okay, so first thing first, where is the data? So data is given on the, uh, the link I have given in the description. That is number one. And uh, via the link, you will join my group. 
and uh, on my group you will find the my link of my uh, google drive which i'll show you so you will going to land uh, after joining my group into the data sets and uh, over here what i have is this data sets sheet where i am keeping the uh, all my data sets that is related to the tutorial that i am having and here on the row number 23 you will going to find the data set link which you can download so by joining my group you will uh, basically get some special updates and information about my upcoming trainings and uh, upcoming courses uh, that i publish time to time so that is the information the another one is the uh, over here as you can see there are so many people who are utilizing this right now so what i am doing is i am keeping all of my power bi related videos over here in this google sheet which is power bi video tutorial the link for this sheet is also present in the description this way you can search my 300 plus videos uh, any of my video you can easily search link is present over here and then go ahead and use it uh, for your uh, learning purpose that way you can basically bookmark this whenever you need you can come over here and look for the information that you need okay so this is this uh, information for dashboard let me come back onto the dashboard and what we will going to do we will going to create the file and the new blank report and i'll show you from the scratch as to how you can go ahead and develop this dashboard step by step so what i'll do is i will move this to my another screen that way uh, it will be easy for me to reference it um, and and uh, develop in front of you step by step so that i will not going to miss any of the um, any of the information so by the time okay it has loaded um, so first thing first is about the background right so background is something what uh, uh, what we have is the i have done is the abstract background so maybe what i can say white purple abstract background and that way you get a lot of different images and that's how i have gone ahead and searched it for my needs like a, this one or depends on whatever i need like any of the one right so for my need what i have done is i have basically gone ahead and uh, picked up one of the uh, one of the background let me just show you which it has come on my second screen and it is under the icon and uh, over here you will see that i was ex you know working with multiple one and apps abstract white and blue gradient triangle overlapping is something which i download or which i basically download as an image which i'm using it okay so over here if i go to my new power bi uh, the workbook and uh, there is nothing but i can go ahead and choose the canvas background and in the image uh, i can go ahead and in the icon sheet of this and double click over here you know there is no absolutely uh, requirement that you will download or you will use this you can if you like something else you can choose that as well and make sure transparency you set to zero right so the image has come and make sure it is fit so that way you will going to get the fit okay so i will just make it maybe 55 percent transparency that way uh, it is not taking a whole lot of uh, you know a uh, whole lot of uh, uh, coloring over here and uh, and conflicting with the uh, visuals right we just want it to be present there is 55 maybe i can make it 60 percent yeah so that is good so the first thing first is the uh, title yeah so title we will going to call it what Udemy course analysis makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we will call it Udemy course analysis dashboard. I know that I have highlighted Udemy with bold, and uh, I can make it twenty-eight, and maybe this one I can make it eighteen, right? 
so this way it is good and then i just don't want it to be very much black but maybe slightly lighter and this one i will make it one shade like this so udemy course analysis dashboard uh, and uh, what it says is that uh, analyzing courses trend and uh, details to find out which course is gaining popularities find out which are the courses which are the courses which courses uh, which are the courses that are gaining popularity okay i just leave it up at here but then what i can do is i need to make it 11 yeah and i can expand this little bit then what i need to do is in the format in the effects uh i need to let's say make it what 90 percent uh maybe 80 percent transparent so that a shadow is there right or even 70 percent so that a shadow is there but it will feel like it is a transparent and that is these sm few th small things that is done to make sure uh, you have a good out and i will make it maybe 15 yeah and then we have the first information yeah udemy course analysis dashboard and uh details which are the, the courses that are gaining popularity that is done now what we need is the kpis uh, or maybe before the kpis we need the slicers so for slicers uh, we will going to go to the slicer icon perfect uh, but if you see i have not loaded the data set i have started working on that so i thought i have already loaded but uh, text csv because it is a csv file i believe it is in the downloads and uh, i think it is in the tutorial data set uh, and the udemy course data set okay so it will going to take couple of seconds and uh, it will ask me the table to pick and i'll just quickly do that uh, you need a data to build the visual yes we are loading the data okay so um looks like good i will simply say load data so again it will going to take few seconds and uh, then we can go ahead and start creating what we need in our data just so that uh, for all our slicers and the visualization requirement all right looks like it is coming yes it has come very straightforward approach uh, to start with right it is the it is not the case that you will find it every single time that situation is that simple right so we have published date uh, and uh, then what i'm going to choose is the year and uh, publish date here and uh, in the slicer settings i will say tile right and i will move this up as you can see over here till like this point which will make it uh, meaningful for us yeah till this much here yeah. and uh, what i'm going to do is few things in the effects again i will make it what 70 percent transparent uh and then we have the uh properties uh we have which is fine slicer header we don't need slicer header yeah and values in the values we have the border we don't want border that to be that visible yes this much visibility is okay and uh font color also i will tone it down a little bit so that um, it is there but it is not conflicting with the visual and make it a smaller one nine and maybe the eight yeah that way this visual is only required because you want to filter something but nothing else and then i will just make it round like the other one so effects 
visual border and that will be all white and this will be 15. Okay. So, I will just move this up and uh, then yeah, should be good. Now, I do not have to do the same thing. I control and paste and uh, what I will do is over here rather than saying this, uh, I will going to pick up the I believe the subject if I am not wrong. Yep, subject. So, we have these four subject and uh, it is meeting our need. Okay. And uh, I will just give some space over here. So, that way you will start seeing that uh, our dashboard is taking a shape, right. So, we have the first chart which is basically nothing but the line chart, but there is a trick that uh, uh, if you remember, I told you that it is using something which is the uh, running total and that is not straightforward and we will going to use something which is called as um, the quick calculation which is a new feature. So, for that what I will do is first thing first is uh, line chart and in the line chart we will going to take the publish date. And we will not take quarter and day, but the year and month only because uh, that is how I have set up in that dashboard as well. And then we can start working on our requirement. So, we have the year and uh, what do we need is the students, right. So, this is how the normal line chart will come, which is okay, which is good because this is showing you the actual trend, trend going up, trend going down. So, but in my case, what I have done is I have basically gone ahead and clicked, uh, created a new visual calculation, right? And uh, we call it, let's say, student running sum is equals to. So, this is where the calculations are present, which is nothing but the running sum, running sum of what? sum of students yeah so if you see what do you get 3006 then 47000 added then this is added so on and so forth so but this is at the yearly level so it is this is how it is going right so we have this now what i can do is i can hide this okay so once this is hidden i can go back to the report and this is how my visual is coming so, now what I will do is I will just make sure that to get the impact which I have shown in the in my other, other dashboard if you remember what I will going to do is I will going to take the area chart rather than this yeah. So, if you see this is how it is going up and then I will do some formatting like on the y axis. Uh, I do not need values I do not need title here yeah? and uh, over here the shade area the shade area and the line. So, I remember the line that I have chosen is something of different color. Um, I know that it is for sure not this one, but little bit dark. Yeah, on that side. Yep. Okay. Perfect. We can work with this one because then it is going out with the little bit of a purple shape that we are having. So, I can choose this. Yeah. So, if you see only 2017 is selected and we need to work on that as well. So, we have few or more things which I will do and then we will move on to the chart. So, in the effect what I will do is I will make it maybe 70 percent. Yeah. And in the visual border we do not need that, but what we need to make sure it is 15, right? And title is something what we want is addition of students every year is something what we want. And we want to make sure that it is not that big and it is not that black, yeah? So, addition of students every year. Again, year is something which is not needed. So, what I will do is over here, first of all, I will make it categorical so that all the values should come and then we do not need the title. 
right and uh, over here i'll make it eight and i'll just give it a little bit tone down over here and i think on the rounded corner we have made it down about no i think we have yes we have i can see this okay addition of students every year so we have done that the only thing which i will do is i'll select this and i need to remove the interaction between these two so what i am going to do is i come over here in format and click on added interaction and if you see it is giving me two options the filter option and none option so i'm going to choose the none what it will do is it will remove the interaction between these two so now if i uncheck that and if i click over here nothing will happen to this chart but if i click let's say on musical instrument the chart is changed and that is how i have created the chart the last thing which i will do is is basically the the data labels because we have removed the y axis but still need data labels and i format it just so that it is coming uh, not like very dark but the light color right and make it eight yeah that way it is there to basically just see that not to conflict with the visualization so we have this right now i can copy and paste but one last thing which i'll do which i can see in my chart is is this title background so over here in the title we have the background color and i think the background color you i don't like this color at all but i like this however i need a lighter shade of this yeah okay a little bit more lighter shade yep okay uh i'll just perfect okay this is good the only thing which i will do is i now need a little darker shade of the okay so we have this formatted properly i am copying and pasting so you can see that only 2015 because interaction is gone which is perfectly okay because what we need is basically a chart like uh, this one where we need the students and uh, not the running total for sure so we need students and uh, we need the uh, we need the top 10 courses okay so we remove this and we have the course title over here right and then we have the students over here on the x axis and i just remove that and what i get is basically the students for us the only thing is uh, on the bars i'll just go ahead and make sure it is purple so that it is matching yeah and then we have this color already formatted everything is properly formatted why don't have to do it the only change i will do it is in the title so in the title this will be the top 10 courses by students right now it is not top 10 so we need to work on that by going into the filter we have the course title and we will say top n is 10 and data fields and in the data fields what we need is the sum of students and apply this and we get the top 10 values if i expand this yeah so uh in the visual in the bar uh we have this everything called out properly okay and uh top 10 courses is also done just move it up little bit and i will also make this chart little bit big okay and uh yeah and make it equivalent to this one and uh one thing which i will do is i will make it make this information till here okay so i have this this chart which i will also make it slightly smaller and move this up here so that i get a space for the third one which i will simply copy and paste because i don't want to do that formatting piece again and again right we just want to make sure that you know we do less work over 
we do all that formatting work, work once and and don't repeat it again and again okay so we have these two lines uh, we have the course title so i need to change this and i will say is paid right and i change this to a donut chart so paid versus free okay now i go over here in the legend it should what i really like is always at the top because that's where the i go or your eyes uh, basically going when you are looking at it not over here so this is a visual interaction or how your eyes basically sees the thing so that's basically uh, come over a period of time once you get the feedback so in the slices we have paid which is this we have free which i am choosing it with the gray color that way i maintain it uh, maintain the details and i have the legend the text text should be lighter i don't like it this this much big and yeah okay so we have this created all right so only thing i need to do is i need to change the title the title needs to be free versus paid courses okay so now we have this the next chart if you see there is little less space over here so what i can do is i can come down into the canvas settings what i did is i just clicked on the blank space and then the canvas settings will come not 169 but i need a custom so what i can do is i can make it 820 so i get more space as you can see right or maybe 800 yeah 800 is good okay perfect uh so now i copy this and paste and bring it down yeah and now what i need is basically uh, information for our free versus paid courses based on the student review so we remove this we remove this uh change the chart to this one and we have the students uh, on the x-axis and uh, this is the students versus review and I have reviews over here right and uh, this is based on free versus paid courses so is paid will come on the legend and uh, on the uh, sorry reviews will go on the y-axis right and the course title will come over here in values so we have okay reviews how is the reviews it's over here okay let's bring reviews and then bring the course title ah now it is coming earlier reviews was not coming as an aggregation that's why it is it was giving us that output right for this i need the y-axis so i need the values of the y-axis for sure right and uh, free versus speed here is the legend is okay in the markers uh, i have free so you know that i am using this middle shade of the gray for free and for paid we have the purple color which is this one right so it is it will be absolutely clear as to what this uh, how we want it so we have the first chart which is free versus paid and again legend needs to be in the center so top center and in the general we have the title in the title what we want to say free versus paid courses by students and reviews right T U D E N students and reviews okay so this is done control c control v now i will show you the next chart okay and i will just make sure that the alignment is not changed so students will continue to be there rather than reviews what we have is the lectures so a uh, number of lectures is basically going to come over here and now my chart is ready 
is paid, free versus paid. Rather than saying reviews in the title, I will going to say lectures. So that way we know that how many lectures are over here and then we can create or we can basically move ahead with that chart. I have this chart, uh, the final chart which I will going to create for this dashboard. As you can see, how easily we have created a very beautiful looking dashboard over here. So we have the um, this one and uh, what we need is basically a chart like this 100% stack chart. So we have course title, so we will remove that. On the y axis, we need the level. Level is basically all levels beginner, intermediate, and expert. And then our chart is ready, right? So we can clearly see what that chart is. And over here, I can enable the data labels, right? And in the data labels, what we can do is uh, we can make it 8, that is 1, right? and uh, decimal values we can make it one point so that it is coming properly and then what we need is this we don't need it on x-axis so i'll go ahead and change and values are all gone and we have y-axis which i will make it a little bit bigger just so that all these values are coming okay so we have pretty much done with our dashboard right and uh, only last thing is is the title for this one so the title will going to be what free versus paid courses for student and levels right by student and levels okay so now only thing which i'll do is i will remove the canvas area by going into the setting and make it maybe what 750 yeah, 750 is good. And that way, as you can see, in almost around 30, 35 minutes, we have our dashboard ready, which then I can choose any of the point for my analysis need and continue to get the output that my business is seeking. So a very light theme, which is visually appealing for the eye and the good layout that we have created with the help of the transparency, with the help of the different, uh, basically, uh, uh, the different components. However, you know, one of the things that we have not done, and I just realized after looking at my another dashboard, is building the KPIs. So we have not built it. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to reduce the size for our uh, for our views over here and I really really apologize for that this should have been our first point that we need to build the KPIs uh, and that is why I wanted the my other dashboard as a reference but not to worry in another 10 minutes max we will going to create our kpi because as you can see uh, i am teaching you what the fast way of doing the or creating the dashboard by creating one component and then formatting it right so what i'll do is i will take the kpi yeah and uh, our kpi is first kpi will come over here and what is our first KPI is basically the students, right? The number of students and over here, the call out value, let's call it what 35 or what maybe 30. Yeah. And uh, what we will going to tell this is the students, right? And this will, uh, this has this value uh, and uh, the background color is going to be what this light purple and this will be transparent as well maybe till 30 percent yeah 30 percent or if we want more uh, i feel like i should have it 50 percent and that way the background will come we need a visual border which will be of white color 
and we need rounded corner so we'll, that will be 15 right and uh, over here in the category label we need to change this to 8 size 8 okay so we have students kpi created perfect copy paste that's what we need copy and paste copy and paste so i have the 3 and 3 6 kpis which i created for the dashboard need c control v 1 2 3 4 5 6 the sixth one will come here and i will show you how we can properly align them okay so this is good this is good good stuff and then we have good. so now the second kpi is the number of courses so the number of courses is basically the course title over here so we need distinct count of the courses so i will just double click count of courses right uh, students uh, the third one is the average price right so where do we have the price oh price is not formatted properly so uh, let's just see the price that why price is giving us the issue price okay so we have this challenge where we have the dollar so you we need to go into the uh, query so over here we have the power query so we'll just go over there and uh, it will going to what we need is we need to change the dollar or we need to remove that dollar sign okay so right click on the column replace values so over here we will replace the dollar with nothing click ok that's it so this is gone and i can then change it to a whole number and i'll click on close and apply and this will give us what we need uh, so that we can build our kpi so now you can see it is changed very easy right so don't worry if you run into the situation there is always a solution so we have price which i will put it over here and uh, this will not going to be the sum of price why if you are a beginner you should know or if you are let's say intermediate or expert level you should know why i have chosen the average price give me your answer price right and then in the values uh, display unit is absolutely okay value decimal places let's make it zero there is no point and in the price over here we can make it the currency right dollar 85 is the average price the next kpi is over here which is the number of reviews so number of reviews is present over here simply say reviews yeah and then we have the uh, students so uh, this this is basically the lectures as i see it the number of lectures that is present over there lectures count count right and then finally what do we have is this uh, basically content duration so this will be changed to the content duration again the sum will not come the average come right 3.12 um, content duration and duration in hours okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to select this or everything go into the format and i need to align this properly horizontally so distribute horizontally that way they will be equally distributed that means distance between them because i have set up the last one set up the first one 
so this will happen automatically and then the next thing which i may want to do is is move this down a little bit yeah this and after moving this down what i need to do is i need to move down these ones so i'm selecting all of these components and i am bringing them down okay perfect so that way i have this last piece is, is the icon which you can go to website like the noun project the flat icon so i have some icon which i have chosen so for that i am simply going to use the image so these are simply you know straightforward icons which basically helps us the so the first thing is a student right and as you can see this is to i just simply need to place it over here because it looks it gives a lot of value to the uh, to the work that doing with the help of this so we have the icon and yep we have option over here which is style and action is okay we have properties and everything which is fine and then i just need to do the same thing for others i have the second icon which is the courses so that one is also i will bring it very small and move it up here and then we have the price price icon is very easy you can put price dollar whatever is needed price tag yeah so that way you know your kpi gets some value or some you know interactivity in that way and then we have what uh, after that what do we have is the reviews so review this is the work that we have to do it once we have defined the kpi that how the what are all the kpis that we will going to need and then we basically go ahead and choose the uh, details so we have price reviews lectures is like that okay um all right uh, which we can put it over here and then finally what do we have is the finally what do we have is the content duration uh, which is this one okay let's move it up yep perfect so then the only thing is last thing you may want to do is you need to look at the properties 30 30 just have to do it the same thing 30 30 hit hit width and height so that every should every icon should look same 30 30 height and width 30 30 very straightforward in couple of seconds we can do this entire work as you can see 30 30 and this one is also going to be this perfect okay so you have your icons you have all your images and this is all perfectly done which you can now show it as your portfolio now finally as promised let me show you the advanced dashboard all right so here is the advanced dashboard this dashboard is basically showing you the course analysis as well as the student analysis and this shows you a lot of information the similar kpis but over here if you see uh, we are showing basically the with the previous period or the previous year whether it has gone up and down and based on what period we have selected we are highlighting that period we are not filtering as you can see we are only highlighting so for example if i want to see the 2016 the 2016 is highlighted right then based on what is what course is selected the course is highlighted over here with the relevant metric and then over here it shows free versus paid courses but then down below it has a lot of information first of all how much students are willing to invest this is based on the bin 0 to 20 dollar 20 to 40 40 to 60 same thing the by the courses and student then student versus review we want to see the top 50 
this is a dynamic feature and we want to see it uh, the top 50 by students or by reviews same thing student versus lectures we want to see the top 50 or whatever that number user entered and student we want to see it by student or we want to see it by lectures the same information will be given there so this has been created this takes a lot of time close to around it took me around 8 to 10 hours to create the final output and the inspiration for this dashboard came from one of the uh, Tableau public dashboard. So it's like uh, there was a Tableau dashboard for this one. And then what I did is convert it into the Power BI. And I recorded this. So if you want that, you can reach out to me based on the email that I have shown here. And uh, if you want to learn this advanced dashboard uh, after learning the basic one, then go ahead and, and shoot me. So with that, Thank you so much and I'll meet you now in a new video with a new topic.